I'm ready, I'm ready. No, you ain't. What the heck is this nightmare fuel? Oh my goodness. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this in the video. That is frightening. Whoa, Power Rangers. Y'all be scary. Welcome everybody to Collecting Star Wars. Are y'all ready to toy hunt? Well, good, because that's what we do here. We go to toy shows, toy stores, we do toy reviews. And right now, Walmart and Target are stocked up on all kinds of new things. I'm talking about toys you haven't seen before. So what are we waiting for? Let's go, come along with us and let's check it all out. Thor Love and Thunder Wave, where have you been? I have been looking high and low for days. We finally got Groot. I love those extra appendages he comes with. You got the tree branch arms reaching out. And we got Thor. That's it, that's all that's here. I'm not a big fan of this figure. I don't like the way the helmet came out. His eyes look kind of crazy. But I bet it's really good in the movie. But I'm happy to get Groot. Groot for the win, baby. All right, now these are kind of rad. Check out these Lego mech suits. We got Marvel's Wolverine. <laughs> Check out those claws. That's cool. What else we got? We've got Iron Man. He's got a his own extra mech suit he can fit into. Not quite the Hulkbuster, but pretty cool still. And we got Black Panther. That one is cool too. Yeah. Like it. These are nice. These are cool sets. For 10 bucks, I'll take them. All right, something I hardly ever do, I really need to make a habit of it, is coming over here to clearance at Walmart, because check this out, the Hover e Web Cannon. I have never seen this in stores, and I go shopping and toy hunting all the time, and it's already on clearance. Usually these things, uh, these Mission Fleet lines, I do appreciate, I don't collect all of them, I generally just get the TIE Fighters, but I'm always checking out what's coming out. This one came out in 22. We're in May, and it's already clearanced. I have not seen this yet. And um, this is interesting to me because here's one that just went on clearance from 2020 for the same price because these things are usually around the $17 price point. This one came out in 22 and is already marked down to nine bucks. So check your Walmarts, people, if you want to get some heck, heck of a great deal on Mission Fleet. Oh, no way. I haven't seen new Motu Origins in a long time. Check this out. Terror Claw Skeletor. Nice, check out all the accessories it comes with. Man, that's cool, I like that dragon skull thing. Those claws you can put on them. Extra head. That's fun, man. Hopefully it's a sign of new things to come. Find some more new Motu on the shelves. Rock on, Walmart's got the Legos today. Check this out, they got the Death Star trash compactor. That is awesome. I love this, what a cool display. And then, Crushes in on our heroes. That's nice. And look, they're not even messing around. They're definitely marketing this to adult collectors. That's awesome. And there's more. You also get the trench run. I have not seen these. I've only seen them on internet images, but man, they're finally here. That's awesome. These are cool. Like how they have a little quilt down there. Force is strong with this one. Uh, yep. And there's Dagobah. Rock on. Man, they got all these. Check it out, the X-Wings all sunken into the swamp. What does it come with? Luke. You got Luke, you got R2, you got Yoda. That's excellent, man. Love this. One thing's for sure, we're all gonna be a lot thinner. <laughs> man, this is great. All right, slowly but surely, persistently, I'm starting to find this wave. That really does look like Christian Bale. That's a good face sculpt. I like that sword too. And there he is, there's Gore. Gore from Thor, Love and Thunder. Man, this is crazy. Walmart is loud. Still, cool to find this one. Collecting Star Wars, toy hunting at Target and check out this really rad Stranger Things display and how it changes from our world to the upside down. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. Excited for this series to come out. You know it's dropping the same day as Obi-Wan Kenobi? That's gonna be nuts. Please God, don't let my internet go down. I've got a lot of streaming to watch. 
Oh man, some cool stuff. We got some, some of these garbage pail kids. Got some cool books that came out. How to survive the Stranger Things world. Might be good to know. And some crazy pops. Kind of like these. Kinda like the black light versions. And got our black series equivalent of Stranger Things. A bunch of hoppers. What's we got? We have all hopper back there. It's hopper and eleven. One of these like little mystery bags. Stranger Things upside down capsule. Two in one display TV mode. That might be fun. That might be fun. Yeah, good stuff. And they also have these sort of reminiscent of the old Ghostbuster figures where they would all scream or be frightened. Here's Lucas with his little slingshot. What does he do? Yeah. He drops his jaw, he's all shocked. And there's Eleven, we've seen her before. With the nosebleed and Dustin. But they come with a build a figure piece. I guess you're making the Demi Gordon. Demi Gorgon. So that's pretty fun. And speaking of cool displays, check out the new Jurassic Park display they have here on the end of the aisle. And it's loaded down. It's a good time to be a Jurassic Park fan. Check out this Lego set. Right from the original movie where the T-Rex breaks through the gate. That's so nice. Wow, dude. That's cool. And I guess this is from the, the new movie. A bunch of new sets. At least they're new to me. I haven't seen them. And we need some super reasonably priced three and three quarter scale vehicles. Come on, Hasbro. Make some G.I. Joe and some Star Wars vehicles that we can afford for 30 bucks and get a set. A vehicle, a figure, and a dinosaur. Dude. I'll be down for that. And here's the Mega Stop and Rumble Giga Dino. It's a dinosaur in a box. No plastic, but the box is really nicely designed. It looks like a cage. It's really cool. Check that out. And it says, try me. So let's see if we can get it to do something. Eye lights up too. Kind of rumbles. That's rad. Plus, you can get the Jurassic World Jeep for 28 bucks. It's an RC car, but again, an affordable piece. Now, you can't fit your action figures in there because the floorboard, you'd have to dribble that out. You'd have to cut that out, but it probably wouldn't be too hard. It's probably kind of hollowish. You cut that out, get some leg room for your figures, and you've got yourself a workable, affordable vehicle that you could even move around by remote. So that's pretty cool. All right, we got the goat boat. <laughs> the goat boat. I love it, dude. That is cool. That is cool. From 411 Thunder. Going across the Rainbow Bridge. Through space. That's fun, dude. Oh, man, I did not know this is... Lego's always kind of spoilery. Shows you things that aren't in the trailer, characters and whatnot. And scenes that you didn't know were there, but I can't wait to see this scene. This looks super fun. The goat boat, baby. Let's go. And over here, checking out the Star Wars at Target. I feel almost bad saying it because they have a good representation. They've got a lot here. You got your troopers, you got your heavy Mando, you've got Wrecker here. So they are stacked on figures. They're just ones that have been here for a while and I'm not interested in or I've already got them. You already got the retro line. But it's cool to see if you haven't picked these up, check out Target. They are filling up again, even if they're not brand new figures. It's good to see restocks of classic favorites and troop builders. So all in all, it's not too bad. Just not what I'm looking for today. Okay, Target's got some fun stuff here that I might need to add to the action figure arcade. Check this out. Tiny arcade, Atari 2600. Comes with the TV, nine games, 
That's all that's on there. Millipede, Missile Command, Prong, Combat, Centipede, Tempest, a bunch of classics. So it's kind of cool. But this, this would be perfect with six inch action figures. Look at this. Dance Dance Revolution. It's got the, uh, the whole setup so they can stomp it out and play along. You're supposed to play with your hand, but I think Deadpool could rock this pretty good in the action figure arcade. Yo, Joe, check this out, bro. In addition to the RC Jurassic Park car, now you can get the Vamp MK2. This is awesome. Look at this thing, ready for off-road. Now you can't fit a figure in there, obviously. It's just a plastic cover piece of the car, but you probably could mod it. There is room to slip somebody in there. You have to add a chair um, to uh, get them to stay in place, but there's possibilities there. There's definite customizing possibilities. Um, or even if you just want to park your figures alongside of it, that would be an awesome display. Fun stuff. And I was super curious about this Halo Mantis. This mech is pretty rad. Did you see Articulated Ninja on YouTube? He customized this to fit G.I. Joe Classified. Did a pretty darn good job too. Just dribbled out a little extra space and they were sitting in there like a champ. So for 40 bucks, I'm not interested, but if they go on markdown or on sale or on clearance, I'd love to pick one of these up. And they've got a few back here. So I'm gonna play the long game on the Mantis. What did I tell you? Some really fun and wild new things hitting store shelves at Target and Walmart right now. So get out there and get toy hunting, everybody. I didn't bring home any action figures today. There was a lot of Star Wars to find, but I'm kind of particular. I don't pick up anything. I'm kind of selective. If I don't see the one or two things that I want, then I'm out and I'm just going to wait till I find them. Got to be patient, got to be persistent. As a matter of fact, at the end of next week, I think it's the 22nd of May, you should be seeing a lot of new Star Wars hitting the shelves, some new displays, new end caps possibly, in preparation for the new Obi-Wan series dropping and Star Wars Celebration where there's a ton of announcements. So Star Wars merchandise is gonna be all over the place really soon, so be on the lookout for that. But until then, I did pick up this Dance Dance Revolution machine. I think it'll be great for action figure photography. It's gonna look good in the action figure arcade. So I'm excited to give this a whirl and set this up. This should be fun. Hey, stay to the end because I'm about to show you some more cool stuff that I found at GameStop. But I also wanna remind you that you can follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Stevo Says Stuff. And on Instagram, we're collecting Star Wars YouTube. You can even follow our other YouTube channel for inspirational videos. And that's called Devo with Stevo. But until next time, be kind and stay strong because you are the hero of your own story.